Well, Chattanooga lost one of its great boosters this week. Bill Castile was a much honored writer, editor, and columnist for the Chattanooga Times. He built his reputation with a mocking wit leveled at the powerful. So when the March of Dimes roasted Castile, Governor Lamar Alexander came to town to get his licks in. Helen Harden has our story from back in 1981. The tables were turned last night. Instead of caustic comments from Castile, it was the king of sarcasm who got zinged. Governor Alexander got the ball rolling. I'm supposed at this point to introduce the roasters. And I have a series of mess telegrams that I'm supposed to read from people who were invited to come tonight and roast, but for one reason or another, elected not to come, but did send a message. Now, here's one from Harry Thornton that I better not read. <laughs> here's one from uh, leadership of the gay rights movement in Chattanooga. TV12's Judy Korn pointed out some of Castile's numerous accomplishments. The Chattanooga Times circulation is the lowest in history. <laughs> Number two, we no longer have to tolerate a Sunday edition of the Chattanooga Times. Number three, they no longer even publish their own publication. And by the way, Bill, I do want to congratulate you because I understand that today, the News Free Press honored you as their Man of the Year. Since I didn't get a chance to say anything last night, Bill, the remarks didn't do you justice. They just weren't bad enough. Helen Harden, TV12, Tri-State Report. Well, stick around.